Consider the function f of x is equal to 3 raised to the x plus 5. So what we have here is an exponential function. And how can we find the inverse of this function? Now, the inverse of exponential functions are logarithmic functions. And we'll show that with this example. In order to find the inverse, the first thing we're going to do is replace f of x with y. Because these two, they equal each other. Now, in the next step, what we're going to do is we are going to switch x and y. By doing this, we create an inverse function. Now, the inverse function that we're looking for, represented by this symbol, is going to be equal to this new y variable, which was equivalent to the original x variable. Now, once we switch x and y, we got to solve for y. So in order to do that, we're going to subtract both sides by 5. So we're going to have x minus 5 is equal to 3 raised to the y. Now, notice the variable y is in the exponent position. In order to get that variable by itself, we need to use logs. So I'm going to take the log of both sides. On the left, I'm going to have the log of x minus 5. And on the right side, the log of 3 raised to the y. Now, you want to be familiar with this property of logs. Log a raised to the x is equal to x times log a. So once you have a log in front of an exponential variable, you can move the variable to the front. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to move the y variable to the front. So we're going to have log x minus 5 is equal to y times log 3. Now, in order to get y by itself, we need to divide both sides by log 3. So now we have log x minus 5 over log 3, which equals y. Now, another property of logs that you want to be familiar with is the change of base formula. Log base a of b is equal to log b divided by log a. So we have it in a form on the right, and we want to convert it to the form on the left. So we can write this division of two logs as a single log. So log base 3 of x minus 5 is equal to y. By the way, when we took the log of both sides, once we introduce the logarithms to our algebraic equation, we can create any base that we want. So it could be base a, it could be base 4, it could be base 6. If we don't put a number there, it's assumed to be base 10. But we didn't really have to do anything because of this step. In the end, even if this was a 10 or a 5, once we use the change of base formula, whatever is here is going to disappear. As you can see, base c is no longer part of this logarithm. So you didn't have to put anything here if you don't want to, but you could introduce any base that you wanted to and that will be equivalent to base c. But once you use a change of base formula, it disappears. Now, the last thing that we need to do is we need to change y with the inverse function. So the inverse function is log base 3 of x minus 5. So that is the answer right there. So as you could see, the inverse of an exponential function is a logarithmic function. Now, for the sake of practice, let's work on another similar but slightly harder example. Feel free to try this problem if you want to. Go ahead and pause the video. By the way, for those of you who want more 
example problems on inverse functions and just functions in general. I'm going to be posting some links in the description section below this video. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. So just like before, we're going to replace f of x with y. And then we're going to switch x and y in order to find the inverse function. Next, we need to solve for y. So the 10 and the 2, we got to move to the other side. We can move the 10 to the other side by adding 10 to both sides. So we're going to have x plus 10 is equal to 2 times 4 raised to the y. Now, before we could take the log of both sides, we need to get rid of the 2 that's in front of the 4. So I'm going to divide every term by 2. So these will cancel. x over 2 is the same as 1 half x. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this is what we have. Now, at this point, we could take the log of both sides. So I'm going to have log 1 half x plus 5 is equal to log 4 raised to the y. Now, using one of the properties of logs, we can move the y variable to the front, just like we did before. So now we have y times log of 4. Now, we need to get rid of the log 4 on the right side to get y by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 4. At this point, we have the answer because we have y by itself, but we could simplify our answer by using a change of base formula. So we can rewrite this as log base 4 of 1 half x plus 5 is equal to y. Now I'm going to replace y with the inverse function symbol. So now we can say that the inverse function of x is log base 4, 1 half of x plus 5. So that is the inverse function. Now let's try a different problem, but somewhat similar. So this problem is going to have a different base, base e. It's still an exponential function. The inverse of exponential functions that have like a, a base 2, base 3, base 5, those will give you the regular logarithmic functions. Now the inverse of an exponential function with the base e will give you the natural log function. Because that's the difference between log and natural log. Log x can have any base. It could be 2, 8, pi, 26. But natural log is a special log where the base is e. And e is a specific number. It's 2.718.28 something, something, something. So e is just a number. It's just a very special number. So with that being said, feel free to try this example. Go ahead and find the inverse function. So let's begin by replacing f of x with y. And then let's switch y with x and x with y. Now, in order to isolate y, we need to move the negative 20 and the 4 to the other side. So the opposite of subtraction is addition. Therefore, we're going to add 20 to both sides. On the left, I'm going to have x plus 20. On the right, 4 times e raised to the y. Now, in order to separate the 4 from e to the y, because they're multiplied, I need to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So x divided by 4 is 1 fourth x, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. So we have this. Next, I'm not going to take the regular log, but I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. 
because we have the base e. And using the property of logs, I'm going to move the exponent to the front. So this is going to be y times ln e. Now, the natural log of e is 1. So 1 times y is just y. So e basically disappears. Now, because we have y by itself and we don't need to use the change of base formula, we could simply say the inverse function is the natural log of 1 over 4 x plus 5. And this is our answer. As you could see, the inverse of an exponential function with the base e will give us the natural log function. Now let's try one more example with the base e, but with more steps involved. So let's try a harder example. So we're going to have f of x is equal to 8 minus 2 times e raised to the 5x. Go ahead and try that problem. So as always, we're going to replace f of x with y. And then we're going to replace y with x. That 8 didn't look too good. And then we're going to replace x with y. Now we need to get rid of everything but y. So the 8, the 2, and the 5, they need to go to the other side. So let's deal with the 8. We have plus 8. The opposite of addition is subtraction. So let's subtract both sides by 8. So we're going to have x minus 8 is equal to negative 2 times e to the 5y. Now to separate the negative 2 from the e, we need to divide both sides by negative 2. The opposite of multiplication is division. So x divided by negative 2 is negative 1 half x. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4. And that's going to equal e to the 5y. At this point, we can't separate the 5 from the y because the 5 is in the exponent position. What we can do is take the natural log of both sides. But before we do that, I'm going to switch negative 1 half x and 4. I'm going to write it like this. It looks better that way. Now I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So I'm going to have ln 4 minus 1 half x is equal to the natural log of e raised to the 5y. Now at this point, we could move the entire exponent, the 5 and the y, to the front. So we have ln 4 minus 1 half x is equal to 5y times ln e. And we know that ln e is equal to 1. So this is simply equal to 5 times y. Now, you can either divide both sides by 5 or multiply by 1 fifth. Since 5 is multiplied by y, we need to divide to separate the 5 from the y. So we could rewrite this as 1 fifth, or 1 over 5, ln 4 minus 1 half x is equal to y. So our final answer, the inverse function, is 1 fifth natural log 4 minus 1 half x. So that's how you could find the inverse function of an exponential function. So remember, the inverse of an exponential function is a logarithmic function. And when the exponential function has the base e, the inverse will give you the natural log function. When the base is anything other than e, the inverse will be just a regular log function. So make sure you understand that.